Today we're going to talk about the scholarships at University of Bristol. University of Bristol is one of the leading universities in the UK and I've already covered the information about how you can navigate it, what is the tuition at University of Bristol and how you can apply at the University of Bristol. If you have not watched my video, you can click on the link above or in the description below to give that a watch. And guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Now today's video, I'm going to go in great detail and talk about scholarships. Scholarships are very, very important if you want to study abroad because they will actually help you to study for free and sometimes you can get 100% free scholarship. You can get 100% scholarship where all your tuition fee and your accommodation and your living expenses are covered. In today's video, we're going to go in great detail. I'm going to show you how you can actually go about doing this. Now, without further ado, let's talk about University of Bristol and how you can get a scholarship. This is their website. I'm going to put the link for this website, bristol.ac.uk in the description below. You can go there and give it a watch. Now, I've already gone in great detail and explained to you how you would be actually finding what course you want to study and applying for that course. But today's video, we're going to concentrate on actually how you can apply for a scholarship and what you need to get a scholarship at University of Bristol. The first thing you're going to do is you go to study at Bristol and then you go to international students. Once you go to international students, there's a lot of information. I feel the information is really good. So I personally would recommend for you to go through all of that information. The first thing that you subscribe about is why Bristol and you discover more about the university and why you want to study there. And like I mentioned before, University of Bristol is a beautiful university. Bristol city in itself is very nice. There's a lot of job opportunities available and there's a lot of courses at University of Bristol that you can study and you can apply from your country. I've already mentioned you can apply through UCAS and the link for the UCAS is in the description below or you can go to my website, the Educational Network and check out the website. You can meet and have a online virtual tour as well and then you have the fee and the finance and you can speak to the current students at the university as well. So we're going to go to the fees and finance when we're talking about international students. Now, I already mentioned the fee for the international students in my video in regards to University of Bristol for the tuition fee. You can check it out from there. And there's a lot of information about the undergraduate fee per list, per course entry, the postgraduate program entry and fee for coming from abroad and non-EU exchange students and pre-sessional course fee and international foundation program fees and your abroad uh, current students. Obviously, you can check that out as well. And how you pay them, how you do it, obviously, which is very important. The financial fraud. I want to mention this. This is very important and I love the fact that they have highlighted this on their website. Criminals will try to target students to steal their tuition fee payment. Please follow the below steps to stay safe. Be aware that criminals may contact you pretending to be the university or your agent. If you are in doubt about a message, contact the university or your agent to confirm. Never share your university password with anyone. Be wary of companies offering to make tuition fee payments on your behalf, especially if they're offering a discount. The university has published a list of approved payment methods we can check out from here. Do not allow any agents or companies to view your university financial statements. If you believe that you have been a victim of online financial fraud, you can report it to the UK police. Now, this is something Thing I feel which is very important and a lot of students that are contacting me ask me how they will be paying it. Please remember guys, you have to pay every single payment from your own account, from your joint account with your parents or from your own account directly to the university, not to any third party. If you have any questions whatsoever in regard to this, you can always drop me a message on my WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is available in the about us section of this channel or you can go to my Facebook page and get my number from there and drop me a message. You can comment in the section below as well and I'll try to reply back to you. And obviously the definition of an overseas students for fee payment is if you are not sure whether you'll pay tuition fee for overseas student, you can check and consult the guidance on the fee status over here. Any person or any individual that is not a UK resident and does not have a British passport will be an overseas international students and the international fee will apply to them. And the cost of living obviously is very important. Like I mentioned before, the living expense is very expensive in the UK, but compared to London, it is quite less. So if anyone's thinking to go to a city which has an average cost of living compared to that of the UK cities like Manchester's, Birmingham or London, Bristol is one of those cities. I feel the living environment and the diversity and culture that you find in Bristol is some where you do not find in any other city in the UK. So I highly recommend anyone that's thinking to going to a diverse city to study over there, which has a lot of opportunities for a job as well. Bristol is that place. Now, scholarship opportunities, you will click on the link below fees and finance over here and you'll go to scholarship opportunities. Now, there are a lot of scholarship 
opportunities which are available to international students and local students as well. But for the international students that we're focusing on, on right now is that University of Bristol invests two million pounds in scholarship for 2022. Uh, they will help the best and the brightest overseas students, including those from the EU that come to the University of Bristol. Now in the undergraduate, you got Think Big undergraduate scholarship, you got Global Accounting and Finance undergraduate scholarship, you got Global Economic undergraduate scholarships, you got School of po Policy Study International undergraduate scholarship, and they have so many postgraduate scholarships as well. If you're thinking about doing a master's or you're doing a PhD, you can always drop me a message and I will guide you according to what your requirements are. And one of the most important things I want to mention before I tell you about the scholarship is the fact that you need to have an excellent personal statement. Personal statement has to be out of this world. You need to write it yourself. Do not copy the personal statement from the internet and do not take tips from random people. It should be about you. If you have written a personal statement and you want someone to go over it, you can always send that personal statement to me on my WhatsApp. I will guide you and let you know if you have to cover all the points that need to be covered. If there's anything that you have not covered, I will help you in regards to that. So please make sure that you write your personal statements yourself. Now, you have partner scholarships, which as well for students, and you've got your Beacon scholarships from Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. And obviously, if you're doing postgraduate, you've got great Ghana, you've got great Kenya, great Nigeria as well. There's a lot of other opportunities as well for students from China. You've got great scholarship for justice and law as well. And you can check these scholar opportunities by searching their full list of funding, which we'll do in a second. Let me go up and show you one of them. Let's look at Think Big Undergraduate Scholarship, which are available for the undergraduate students. Now, scholarship is available for qualifying starting from September 2022 and awards for undergraduate international students are valued from 5,000 to 10,000 pounds per year. It can be used towards the cost of tuition fee and scholarship available for our qualifying courses starting September 2022. Now guys, one of the most important things you got to keep in mind is the fact that when you apply for a scholarship, you need to first apply for the course at that university. You need to get admission on the course before you get admission or you get the scholarship. If you do not get admission, if you do not get an unconditional offer and you've paid the tuition fee the first semester to secure your position at the university, only then can you apply for the scholarship. Not before that. There's a lot of students ask me that that can we apply for the scholarship before we apply for the course that is completely wrong you need to first apply for the course and then you can apply for a scholarship if you have any questions whatsoever do let me know and i will tend to reply and help you and guide you as best as i can now you can be eligible if you're an overseas student for the fee purpose and apply for a full-time undergraduate excluding medicine so medicine is not covered dentistry is not covered veterinary sciences at university of bristol is not covered starting in september 22 so everything besides the three you can apply for the scholarship now what you got to do is the deadline is going to be on monday 28th March 2022 which is next month and the assessment successful applicants will be contacted on or before 6th of May and unsuccessful applicants will be notified shortly after and obviously you can go to terms and condition and the frequently asked question and check it out now you go straight to how to apply and if you click how to apply you'll get to this particular page where applying for a scholarship the guidance for completing the application form the personal details and application where you will need your UCAS ID if you do not know what your UCAS is you can go to UCAS and check it out if you do not know how to make an account on UCAS or get an ID you can always go to my video for the UCAS which is available on my channel the educational network and obviously after that you the course and study you'll be planning to study your name your email address your nationality your permanent country residence and your current or most recent educational institute and details of any other funding you have applied for or due to receive now the application questions are going to be there there are three questions that you need to complete the maximum word count for each question is 200 words and each question is worth 10 marks and the questions are different for undergraduate and the undergraduate questions are the first one is we are looking to support the brightest and best individuals who have the ambition and strive to make a difference. Describe any special skill and proud accomplishments you have achieved outside your academic grades. Use this space to write it. This is your first question. The second question is we're looking for scholars who will be great ambassadors for the university. Recognize the power of diverse network and communities and influence positive change. How do you plan to contribute to the students community at the University of Bristol? And the third question is that we are looking for scholars who will use their time at Bristol to make the most of the opportunity and realize their potential. Tell us about your future goals and how your chosen course at Bristol will support you to think big and achieve them. Now guys, these are very important questions. and These questions will show the university about who you are, how you think, what you want to do. And keep in mind, they got psychologists on their panels that will go in details to understand your mental standpoint and your psychological perspective as well. So please make sure that you understand the question and you 
answer honestly because if you get the scholarship and you deliver when you're there then you will be one of the legacy builders of university of bristol and the postgraduate also have questions and you can go through this i'm going to put the link for this in the description below you can go over there and check it out and obviously the next thing i want to show you is the list of different scholarships which are available that you can go from here you go to search our full list of funding and when you go to full list of funding you'll see how many scholarships they have they got access port graduate black bristol fee waivers access program alternative guide to port graduate funding gateway and as you scroll down there's so many different scholarship and bursaries that are available for students so at the end of the day the most important thing you got to keep in mind guys the fact that you want to study you're passionate about education and you want to go to university of bristol so you got to make sure that your academic and non-academic are very very strong and you write a strong personal statement and you answer the questions for your scholarship in an honest manner if you need any guidance any help to go over your personal statement you can always share them with me on my whatsapp and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you do not miss any of my videos until my next video take care allah